Well, Latin America is a very diverse region. Uh, it is, uh, of course, a region highly dependent on, commodity pro on commodities, and so the a downturn of the commodity cycle, the end of the super cycle, uh, is certainly uh, having an effect in the region. But uh, let me give you an example how diverse the situation is. For example, between a country like Venezuela, was 95% of its exports are oil, uh, with a country like Chile, where 98% of the consumption of liquid fuels is imported. So it's completely the reverse. So the a uh, downturn, the collapse of the oil price, is a blessing for countries like Chile and all the importers in Latin America. Uh, and it's a complication, big one, for countries like Venezuela, Ecuador, Colombia, uh, to name the most, uh, the most prominent. Mexico also, but Mexico is only a very tiny fraction of, uh, of uh, their GDP. I definitely think that the Pacific Alliance is the hottest integration uh, agreement in the Americas today because it's the only one that is producing results. Uh, one uh, way to measure results is that the meetings are, uh, after the meetings you get uh, of uh, you know, presidents or finance ministers or whatever, uh, you don't get very long uh, communiques. There are short communiques with actions and that makes a difference. Uh, for example, uh, very recently, 92%, actually this month, 92% of trade within the Pacific Alliance, meaning Chile, Peru, Colombia and Mexico, will flow completely free of any uh, impediments uh, in the four countries. And this is something very clear. We are sharing embassies uh, abroad, so it, is, it goes beyond trade. It is, you know, uh, an issue, a feature of integration, which is much more profound, more intense. And I say this, I happen to be one of the founders of the Pacific Alliance when in 2012 we were in government, you know, and, and Chile was, of course, part of the original, uh, you know, founders of the Pacific Alliance. So this is something we pushed, we believed on, and I think it's something that uh, will give a lot of fruit in the future. There are a lot of cross investments, uh, a lot of business opportunities that are being exploited. And let me say one last thing, the Pacific Alliance by itself is larger now than the economy of Brazil. And uh, the integrated stock market of Latin America, the MILA, uh, is larger than by market cap, which is the sum of the four markets of these countries, is larger than the Bovespa, which is the Brazilian stock market. So I think that uh, that gives an idea of how important uh, this uh, trade agreement, uh, this sort of uh, integration agreement more than a trade agreement is.